Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I wanted to do a quick video about uh, what to do if you test positive trying to come back to the U.S. from Philippines. Uh, we had some videos kind of sharing our experience trying to get home from over there and some of the problems that we ran into and we've been getting a lot of comments and questions about it. So I just wanted to kind of run through the steps of that real quick for everybody and try to help clarify some of that a little bit. So let's assume that you're staying in a quarantine hotel in Manila already. Uh, you're going to test, you're required to test no more than three days before your flight. So the date of your flight, your test has to be within three days of that date. Uh, if you test negative, you're good to go, no problems. But for the few people that do test positive, you're going to need to remain in quarantine at that time until your quarantine is over. Now, if you don't have symptoms, uh, you're supposed to be able to end your quarantine and and go out at, at a ten when the ten days is over the first ten days. If you do have symptoms, fever, or coughing, or any, any of that kind of thing, you have to complete the whole fourteen days. But if you don't have any symptoms during your quarantine, you can end your quarantine after ten days. Uh, and that is um, a guideline set by the CDC. And also, the Philippines Department of Health, I believe is what their agency is called, uh, recognizes that same guideline. So they do have that on their website also. Uh, once you finish your quarantine, you can make an appointment to see a physician and you need to obtain a letter of recovery from COVID-19. So you're going to probably want to get on the phone, get on the internet, um, search some of the hospitals there in the area and see if you can make an appointment to go see one of the physicians uh, to give you a letter of recovery. So you can call them, tell them what you're needing, and get an appointment set up rather than just showing up. I think you'd probably be better off to have an appointment ahead of time. Um, I can recommend Manila Doctors Hospital is where we went to and got our letters from. They were very helpful. They knew the situation, and uh, they took care of us really well. So I can recommend them to you if you're in need of those letters. The cost for the letter was um, about $25 each. There was three of us. We paid a total of $50, I think, right around there. And uh, Liam, who is seven years old, his was free. So we just had to pay for two adults. Uh, the whole appointment was very quick. Just uh, questions, really. No real exam or anything. Uh, we were only in the office for about probably 20 minutes and and then we were on our way so once you test positive you finish your quarantine and you get your letter of recovery then you're all set and cleared and ready to fly fly back home and your letter of recovery should state in there that you're cleared for travel cleared for air travel uh, that's what ours did so I'm assuming they're probably all going to be very similar. Uh, it should state on there that you've recovered from COVID-19 and you've finished your quarantine and are able to travel. 
So once you have that, you're all set. Uh, you're going to need to probably buy new airline tickets. And I would recommend if Philippine Airlines serves your city that you're going to, uh, I would recommend using them. They seem to be the most knowledgeable about the entire process. And they have their own labs uh, set up doing the testing. They're doing swab testing. Uh, you can test with them. And then if you wind up being quarantined, you can go back to them with your letter of recovery and buy tickets from them. And you shouldn't have any problem uh, using the letter of recovery with Philippine Airlines. Some of the other airlines, there may be some confusion. We had confusion with our airline that we used. And I don't think they had dealt with anybody yet, really, with the letter of recovery because the um, order from the CDC requiring a negative test to enter the U.S. or letter of recovery came down, I think, on January 12th, if I remember right. And we were traveling early February, so uh, it's very possible not too many people had gone through that, finished their quarantine, and tried to travel. So we may have been among some of the first people doing that is why we ran into some issues. But we did talk to Philippine Airlines and they were familiar with all of that, but they didn't have any flights uh, going where we were needing to go. They they were just flying to uh, Los Angeles and the West Coast area, and we were needing to go to Dallas, but we wound up going to Chicago and then on to Oklahoma City. But we, we ended up using a different airline and we did have some problems. So I could recommend to you to use Philippine Airlines and also Manila Doctors Hospital for your letter of recovery. Um, the other thing I would mention when you do have your letter of recovery and you're getting ready to travel, uh, research the order from the CDC, print that off, familiarize yourself with it, and just be ready to show that to anybody that gives you any kind of trouble or wants to argue with you over that. Uh, you can show them the actual order and what it says, and uh, Hopefully that'll save you from any additional problems. But as long as you do those things and follow the order of the CDC, then uh, you're doing the right thing and nobody should be able to stop you from, from going back home. So keep that information with you. You may have to show it to somebody and plead your case with them. So hopefully everybody that's trying to get back home will test negative, but I'm sure there will be more people that do test positive that will have to go through that whole situation. Uh, once you test positive, there's really no reason to ever test again while you're there because you could test positive for weeks or maybe months uh, after your first test. So the best thing to do is just forget about testing, go that route with the letter of recovery, and try to get yourself back home as soon as possible. If you haven't gone over yet and you're thinking about going over, make sure you've got access to some money in case your trip winds up costing you more than you had planned. Uh, if you get caught up in something like that, you might have an extra two weeks at the hotel. You may lose out on some of your airline tickets and have to buy new tickets. So just make sure you've got some money available to you or some credit available to you uh, in case you have to get out of a bad situation. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys. I uh, just wanted to run through all that kind of step by step and clarify a little bit. So thanks for watching everybody. Take care and we'll see you on the next video.